was a return address. He said, what are you talking about? You fuck a lot, bud. You fucked a lot. What the hell is you fuck a lot? I know it's like a, a town, city, Pueblo of some sort in Oklahoma. E-U-F-A-C-L-A. That's like you, you, you fuck a. Yeah, you, you fuck a lot. Like Europe, you know. You, you fuck a lot. You fuck a lot. lot. You fuck a lot. You fuck a lot. lot, Oklahoma. Yeah. I've never fucking heard that place. It's a fucking joint, dude. It's a fuck. Yeah. How y'all doing out there? We got Dave, the uh, guy with us today. He decided to read addresses on the box and make fun of them. Text for Dave. But uh, what we got, it's actually BP Dave. He found himself a new name because he's a texter guy. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. All right, what we got today, how y'all doing? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, over at DIY Auto School. Now, there's a lot of people out there that uh, convert, okay? When they're building a street ride, when you're building a hot rod, you're converting your power steering, okay? You're making a manual steering to power steering. You're using uh, Mustang 2 rack and pinion steering. You're using General Motors, GM Motors with uh, uh, GM power steering pumps. But what happens is when you hook the power steering pump up to the power steering rack, all of a sudden, your power steering uh, steering wheel takes off on you, and it's just like bang, 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 doing this, okay, and you can't control it. That means there's too much pressure, okay, your power steering pump is putting way too much pressure out, okay, to the power steering rack, okay, and it's over flooding it, and almost making it to the point where your power steering rack wants to go BAM and explode, okay? We got the cure for it. We got the cure for it. All right, what you got here, you got an early model GM style power steering pump. Now, this is actually a high tech version. This is from a pulley company, but this is the same situation you have as like uh, 1970s, 19, uh, to, through uh, early, late 1960s up through uh, early 80s, late 90s maybe, okay? They actually have another pump now that has its own built-on reservoir, this, that, and the other. They have pumps that have, uh, uh, they also have pumps that have, uh, what's the, what am I trying to say here, Dave? Uh, uh, remote pump. reservoirs. They have pumps that have remote reservoirs, but the one we're working on, all you got to remember is General Motors, GM, power steering pump, okay? On the back of your power steering pump, you're going to see the outlet for the high pressure line right here. And you're also going to see the low pressure line. What we're concentrating on is the high pressure line, okay? We want to go ahead. It's going to look like a big nut, okay? Now, this is a cap right here. Let me take that off so you can see it. Okay, so that's where your high pressure line would go. We're going to put that back on there so dust doesn't get in. So what we want to do is we want to take that off, okay? We want to go ahead and get that off. Now, let me show you the kit that we're going to be working with. This particular kit is made by a company I don't like to advertise. My friend Pete does not advertise due to certain circumstantial reasons, okay, because they're not doing nothing for me. But in this situation, there is situations I have to advertise because you guys need to know where to get this product. And there's limited people that make this product, and this is one of them. Okay, if you look inside here, okay, if you look inside there, that's it. That's the kit right there, okay, that uh, comes with it. Basically what it is, uh, uh, an O-ring and some washers, okay? Let me go ahead and take it apart. I'm going to show you. I'm going to walk you through this. It's very simple. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and take off that, uh, that hydraulic fitting right there. And I'm just going to take my impact and bump it very easy just to loosen it. And then I'll be able to take it off with my hand, as you can see. And that is a spring-loaded situation, so you want to be very careful. When you take that off, that's what it's going to look like. That's a valve. That's a hydraulic valve. Okay, I don't know what it does or how it works. All I know is I'm telling you how to fix your power steering pump and convert it to make it worth with Mustang 2 front Once suspension. Once your valve is off, you want to go ahead and get yourself a magnet. Okay, it's very important to have a nice 
Sturdy, are you listening to this BP? Are you checking it out? Okay. You want to take the magnet. Now watch real close when I pull this out. You're going to see a valve. Okay, you're going to see this valve come out of here. It's very important to be very careful because along with the valve, let me show you here, there's also going to be a spring. Okay? Don't lose that spring. The best thing to do with that spring, if it comes out, put it back down inside there. It'll fall down inside the shaft. Now, what's important about this valve, it's a machined valve. If you look at the sides, that's a hardened steel, okay, and it's got little ridges right here. Fluid actually literally runs through those ridges. Did you know that, BP? Never seen this apart okay. before. This is a pressure valve. This is the valve that regulates the pressure, okay, for your power steering pump. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to deregulate the pressure so it doesn't have such high pressure, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? All right. So what you want to do is now is you want to go ahead and get your kit out, okay? And this is a Borgeson kit number 899, okay, 001 by Borgeson, okay? You can go to www.borgeson.com, okay? This is the kit you need. It's a depressurizing kit for General Motors power steering pumps when you're converting your uh, steering over to, and I want to show you this picture right here because this is basically the pump that we're working with right here if you look. Okay, I don't, can you see that? That is a General Motors power steering pump. This is a late model power steering pump. This is actually the one that we're working with. We just happen to have a high tech uh, build aluminum one sitting there, but that's the same exact pump, okay, that you see pictured in this picture. So once you open it up, you're going to see your directions right here. You're going to see the directions, and basically it's telling you exactly what I told you, that you have to take all this apart and you pull out your valve. Now, this is the valve that I just showed you. This is the machine valve. And if you notice, it has a spring in it. And then, of course, it has a little rod. And then it has a ball on there. Do not lose any of those pieces. We need to take this nut off. Because what we're going to do is we are going to build the washers up between that nut right there and our valve. What that's going to do, that's going to uh, give less pressure on this spring and this valve thing here. Okay. And it's going to deregulate the pressure so the pressure isn't as strong. But this is what we're working with, okay? Good thing it comes with instructions, huh? Good thing it comes with instructions. Good thing my friend Pete is on YouTube giving you the instructions. Even better. Even better because I'm showing you firsthand, okay? Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.